Hi everyone, it's Anita Vandenberg, public health physiotherapist and recent new mama. I gave birth to my daughter a week ago and I'm excited to share with you my first week using the ab tank and the core confidence program. So I had given birth around midnight. Um, by midday the next day I had the wrap and the tank on and had started doing my core breath. Um, that first day I probably did the core breath about three times that day five to ten reps each time, mainly sitting and lying down. By day two, I tried to tie together habits with my core breath so I would remember more often. So at that point, I was able to remember probably about eight to ten times that day um, and going forward throughout the week. So for example, in sitting, um, once my daughter had latched, I knew I had good posture. I would do my core breath in sitting or I would do it in line when we were doing skin to skin when she was on my chest or in standing. So after um, we would change her, um, I would be in standing and it was another chance to do the core breath in a different position. So tying a habit together um, with your core breath made it a lot more uh, realistic to remember to, to fit it in. Um, in terms of feeling my pelvic floor work, from day one uh, after giving birth, I could feel my, my transverse or my corset muscle, my TA connecting with my core breath. Um, but my pelvic floor did take about two days for me to start to feel it activate. Um, I knew my brain knew how to connect to those muscles because I had been doing core breath. I knew my pelvic floor was working properly right up until um, the day I went into labor. Um, I was doing it with uh, daily activities with the core confidence program during pregnancy with weights in the gym and I knew how to relax it uh, with prenatal yoga um, but as many of you know if, um, going through childbirth it is like a marathon for your pelvic floor um, so I just needed to be patient and you know after two days I was starting to feel my pelvic floor connect with my TA um, and my uh, breath as well. In terms of the uh, tank I've glad it came with two um, because it was quite helpful. We're doing about one load of baby laundry um, each day anyway so basically I toss one of the tanks in the laundry bag in uh, with that load because it should be delicate anyways um, and it works out quite well. The wrap I haven't needed to wash. Um, if for some reason something does get on it I will just you know hand wash it. It doesn't actually need to go in the wash itself. Um, in terms of the wrap, uh, I do have to adjust it throughout the day, um, but it is something I expected. It doesn't really bother me, um, considering throughout pregnancy, wearing jeans and pants with a really high waist, I had to adjust those throughout the day anyway, so it wasn't anything new to me to adjust the wrap here and there. Um, posture, again, really important. So if I'm not in my neutral spine when I'm doing my core breath, I definitely can feel a difference. So. You want to make sure you're in your neutral spine and then I felt or I feel the best best connection to my core. Um, I do have two tips. Um, so first kind of sticking with the, the theme of posture. 90% um, of the time I feed basically in our glider. So from day one I made sure we had good pillows and everything for my um, torso um, length to make sure that I was um, supported enough, my low back was supported, my daughter was supported, so she could latch properly and I wasn't compromising my posture. Um, so I do recommend if you have a few places you feed or one place you feed, uh, just adjust that at the start and then it just makes it so much easier that you're not redoing that every single time you're going to feed. Uh, my second tip would be I've been basically wearing my pregnancy leggings uh, out of comfort uh, since giving birth and so they still have their high waist on it so I would put my tank on my wrap on and then I put my leggings on um, which come up and over the wrap which help to keep it a bit more in place and then from there putting a tank over top or another shirt um, you can't really see the wrap with that so those would be my two tips um, hopefully all of that was helpful um, and I look forward to sharing week two with you